The city of Rome holds many secrets under its modern façade. Beneath the eternal city, an expansive labyrinth offers glimpses into the rise and fall of a mighty empire. The complex underground network is used for everything these days, from catacombs and bomb shelters to mushroom farming and makeshift sewers. Here, ruins continue to lay undisturbed for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Protection of these tunnels is one of the main hurdles faced by the team behind Metropolitana di Roma Linea C, or Rome Metro's Line C. Technical Director Andrea Schiotti proudly leads this extraordinary team and strategic partners tasked with delivering this very important project. A passion for history and Rome itself drives this talented group of engineers towards improving and preserving a rich historical legacy. Much more than a single project, Rome's Metro Line C sets a new standard for similar endeavours around the globe. Rome's Sea Line is the city's third underground route, running from the eastern suburbs of the city through the historic city centre. Determining the line's course, in the face of understandably strict Italian laws aimed to protect artefacts, presented the first major challenge. Further geological and hydrogeological issues, such as Rome's notoriously inconsistent soil, posed major concerns as well. The route must consider an ancient maze of artefacts and modern infrastructure, including the first two lines of Rome's metro system. Safety is a priority. The innovative tunnel design almost eliminates the risk of fire and improves evacuation. Critical fire prevention methods boost safety in Rome, advances science and enhances future projects. Rome's Metro Line C represents one of the largest projects of its kind in Europe. The numbers present a clear picture. The C Line is automated and driverless. It runs 25.5 kilometers, connects to 30 stations and serves 5,500 parking spaces. A rolling stock has 30 trains, each composed of six carts apiece. Each train measures 108 meters long and holds up to 1,200 passengers. Evacuation of 800,000 cubic meters, 360,000 cubic meters worth of concrete and 270 million kilograms of steel have teams working around the clock. The entire route includes 250 escalators, 87 electrical stations, 11 electrical substations, 200 ventilators and 1,500 CCTV cameras. Needless to say, an operation of this magnitude is a significant investment and takes collaboration between a range of great partners that are local, regional and international. This project will cost an estimated 3.1 billion euros once complete. Over 63% of this financial burden is fulfilled by the national government, while the remainder is covered by Roma Capitale and Regione Lazio. The sea line makes several notable contributions to the Eternal City. Construction of the sea line will meet the current and future travel demands of the dense and populated eastern suburbs. The transport capacity of the sea line in the initial phase is estimated at 24,000 passengers per hour in each direction, from Claudio Mazzini to Alessandrino, 12,000 from Alessandrino to Grotte Celloni, and 6,000 between Grotte Celloni and Monte Compatri Pantano. This will shift a significant portion of trips from road to rail. Connectivity is key as the line seamlessly links Rome's existing metro system and the future D-Line with the regional railway FL1. The addition encourages a significant shift from road to rail, forever strengthening the city's public transport system. Dubbed the Archaeological Metro, the new line will not only contribute to building a sustainable transportation network, but also our knowledge of the historical city of Rome. The sheer thickness of Rome's total archaeological layer can reach up to 20 meters. 
Tunnels, therefore, must lay 20 to 35 meters deep while navigating delicate sites, existing stations, and surface platforms. Throughout this tedious process, the team uncovered several historically relevant sites and artifacts that broadens our knowledge of the past. A few of these notable discoveries include a vast farm at San Giovanni. Active since the 3rd century BC, the site is the largest irrigation reservoir of ancient Rome ever found. A barracks at the Amba Radam Eponio station. Built in the first half of the 2nd century AD, the structure includes an annexed Domus of the Centurion. A Trajan-era building, unearthed near Largo dell'Ambra Aradam, featuring the first ancient wood ceiling ever found in Rome. A section of an aqueduct from the Republican era in Piazza Celimontana, perhaps the oldest known Roman example. The remains of the Domus of the Prefect at the Clivo di Acilio Imperial Forums. Unseen for millennia, these impressive discoveries reveal a fresh look into ancient Roman life. Surprises surface each day as the team continues to dig. Started in 2007, many milestones have been achieved and some parts of the line are open and already in operation, including the route from the eastern suburbs to San Giovanni, where C-Line interchanges with the pre-existing A-Line. There is, however, so much more to come. The goal is to expand into the city's centre, further pedestrianising the popular historic area. So far, the tunnels have reached Piazza Venezia, which is at the edge of the perimeter of the future station whose design has been realised a project that will begin once proper funding is secured. The team will ensure that the eternal city remains eternally in motion. The future is bright as Metropolitana di Roma Linea C, Rome's 21st century chariot, carries us in exciting new directions. Hold tight, more twists and turns are ahead as the line nears completion in 2024.